Oh why, hello there. I hope that you are doing very well and I would like to start off this video by asking you a direct question. My question is simply this. Are you interested in the markets in general? Are you a lover of trading? Or are you just starting to get involved in technical analysis and find it fascinating how one can predict levels on a chart and how they can be respected and get reactions? With any of that, <laughs> it opens up your eyes and you see that passion starting to come into play. Well, this is the video for you. Why? Because I'm going to be going over the charts, the market, specifically Bitcoin here. I'm going to be going over some levels that I've been trading from the past few days. And then we're going to be explaining exactly exactly what we are looking at next inside of this market. Trades, targets, and all that good stuff that you're here for. So uh, yeah, I must admit I'm feeling very good, very positive, big smile on my face, and I'm really looking forward to pa pass on to you today some really nice insights, information, and knowledge that you are not going to get anywhere else. This is the place to be if you take this seriously. So let's get into the analysis and into the trades. So I want to pick up where I left off my last video, which was around this section of the chart. Okay, we had just seen um, the rejection off the VWAP at the time and another move to the upside, which gave us our parallel channel. Okay, so this is the parallel channel that we had back on this section of the chart. We really simply had our range low and our range high. Okay, there's a few things, as always, I like to do here. This is for your education. I want to explain exactly what I was looking at in the time after this before the move happened. So you can start to understand levels and ideas that I get. And of course, using this information, you can start to implement it in your own trades and become a very successful trader. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to explain something that I was looking at after this particular move to give me the range high. Okay, so in Pacific, um, <laughs> I basically had a, well, I'm doing live daily live streams, right? We have live daily upstreams on the website. And one level that come to my mind uh, the next day was this 22,590 level, okay? So I had this level 22,590, as you can see here when we zoom in, 22,590. Had this, obviously, of course, with the help of the legend himself, Igor, uh, but I come across with this with an interesting level. It was the one and only interesting level above me within the range, okay? It was based off of the Igor sessions, and it gave me the level of 22,590. At the time, I was not in any longs here locally off of that range. I was only in short positions from the past few days, and, you know, my preferred scenario is lower. I want to come back down towards the lower of the range. So above a in the range, I had one and one level only, 22,590. You can see that level given to my team on the 6th of March at 7.45 a.m. Well, let's just add on that and see what that looks like. So this is what it was looking like at the time, okay? So we can just add on the target that we have here, okay? 22,590, that is the level after we've formed that range high of the only level within the range that we have of interest above us. If we break above the range, then of course we're looking for a bigger move. But this is a level internally where especially our day traders and lower term time frame traders are definitely going to be looking for. Thus, I gave that to my group at around 7.45 in the morning. What happened next, ladies and gentlemen? You can maybe guess. We came up and we tapped that level. <laughs> Have a guess what the exact high dollar was. This was at around you know 7, 6 p.m. at night. You can see after the lovely tap of that level and the rejection. So as we move on here, move on here, move on here, look at that, just look at that. We come up to the exact dollar high. Here you can see the high value of this candle, $22,590. Upon this tap of the Eagle session, we also had bearish CVD divergences here on the Bybit chart. So we not only had our target, which nearly 12 hours later was hit to the exact dollar, we also had on top of that bearish divergences forming as we were moving up to that level. So it gave this really nice short position. Once again, I want to stress it's more for your day traders, but nevertheless, if you're ready, prepared, have that level marked out, you see the reaction off of that level, you see the bearish divergences, you know, this is a short that you're going to take every day of the week. And we can see how that actually was the overall high of this move. High of the range, high off of that Igor session, level given in advance. So why am I telling you this now a few days later? Well, of 
course, you're watching this video for free on YouTube where all information is delayed from what I post in the group. But most importantly, I want you to understand that I'm using thus these ego sessions to give me strong levels in advance. This is a level for day traders, scalp traders that we're aware of. It's the only level inside the range above us, which is an interesting level to trade. That is the one and only level that I gave above us inside that range. And well, as you can see, it was the one and only level that gave you the exact high dollar reaction. From here, we remaining patient. I was personally remaining patient and naturally wanted to see lower prices. In a few different short positions, for me, the biggest opportunity is coming from the low of the range, okay? So when we add back on that range, of course, at this moment in time, it's really simply got to remain patient. We've now rejected from the Igor session, and let's see if we can come back down towards the weekly and the low of this range, right? As we can all see what's happened now, that has played out. We did come down, and, you know, yesterday, still giving our live stream updates in the morning, still remaining patient. And for me, you can see really clearly here yesterday, 8 p.m., still the same for me, still shorts, no longs in this range. So within this range, I've taken no longs, I'm remaining in short positions, I want to see lower prices to come. I hope you can appreciate how clear and transparent this update is. Okay, if we had bounced from where we had, I would have said, hey, I was wrong, I made a bad decision, and yes, I <laughs> will hold myself accountable for that. But no, I've come in here, clear as day update, Still the same, still short, no longs. Well, this morning at around 5 a.m., what happened? We had this lovely swing fire pattern of the range low. So this is the swing fire pattern of the range low. We've come down here and we've took out, took out the low. Happened, as you can see here, around 5.30ish in the morning, just after, okay? So if we come here exactly, we can see the exact minute of this coming and down happening is around 5.40. So around 5.40 a.m., we're getting a swing fire pattern. Myself, personally, I had alerts go off. I had this with an alert because I knew it was a key level. I knew this is my range low. I knew this is a level that I'm interested in trading if we get a swing fire pattern. What happened? We got a swing fire pattern of the range low. You know, a few minutes later, I'm coming into my group and I'm saying, good morning, swing fire pattern. I have to remember, <laughs> big yawns, but this for me is, is not a normal time of waking up. I've had my alerts go off. For me, this is a worthwhile uh, to come to my computer, analyze, take the trade. Why? Because I've seen, okay, we've got a valid swing fire pattern. The risk is between 0.2 to 0.5%, depending on entry. So I've got a relatively low risk here. Of course, I can acknowledge we haven't hit the date, the, the weekly, but we have got a valid swing fire pattern trade. As you can see from some of the com other comments in the group, finally got that swing fire pattern. But And when we see that swing fire pattern, we trade the swing fire pattern, giving a very nice long trade entry on the daily sculpt trades and for others managing to hit the take profit off of their shorts, looking for the longs. Like this guy says, yes, we did not tap the weekly, but we took that long trade anyway, because it is still a swing fire pattern. See that trade, take the trade, even if it's 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so you can see all hours of the day, every day of the week, ready and waiting for these trade setups. Okay, we have to understand where we've come from them. So let me just zoom out here, and I can tell you the exact reason we put in this high here to the dollar. It was a level we were expecting, 22,590. Why did we put in this low? Well, quite simply, swing failure pattern of the range low. So I've told you and called in advance this high, which was off of the Eagle session, you know, 12 hours in advance. And then live in the time to reaction, we're seeing the swing failure pattern and we're waking up to taking those long trades based off of that. Okay, so I hope you can understand here that, um, you know, the levels are respected and the technical analysis is something that we would call textbook plays at Chart Champions. These are very much textbook plays that we are ready and waiting for on a regular basis. It's what gives us our analysis, it's what gives us our confidence and our levels. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to remove this level because, of course, now it's tapped. And we're going to start to add on a few more key levels here. So, of course, we still have below us the weekly and the NPOC. We can still look for the reactions off of this level and even still a swing fire pattern. OK, this is still a possibility if we start to reject. If we do start to continue with the strength here, then for me, there's a few levels that we can be aware of. Of course, you know, we can use 
what I would refer to as more basic analysis with trend lines. Okay, so we can clearly see touch one, touch two, touch three at the trend line. So what we'd be saying here is if we can break out of this trend line, then really the bigger target is going to be coming here on the zone. I want to emphasize the zone, but the zone is around 22, 300, right? This would be our key zone of resistance next. If we break through that, well, then we can start to look back up to the top of the range again. Okay, so it's as simple as that, level to level, but that would be for me the next level. Currently, we're projecting off around this trend line, which, I mean, if you took that swing fire pattern, if you managed to take that long trade, like myself and others within the group did, then, well, in my opinion, you would already have hit take profit one off the VWAP. But if you haven't, naturally, this could be an acceptable place for locking in the take profit one. Why do we lock in the take profit one? Well, in case we do get a reversal and we come back down to take these lower levels. Well, that way, you can lock in the take profit one off of your long trade and make money whatever happens next. And that is the beauty of trading, where sometimes you don't even have to be right to make money. You know, we could take that long trade aiming for 20 to 300. Well, if we don't hit 22, 300 and we turn down earlier, well, we were technically not right on the trade as we were looking for higher, but we still made money on it because we locked in that take profit, moved the stop loss up, the stop loss is hit, we were wrong on that trade, but we still made money. That's the name of the game, right? To make money at the end of the day. And so that's the position that you can be in now if you're ready, prepared, and you're willing to put in the work because not everybody is going to be willing to wake up at 5 a.m. to take trades based off of their alerts going off. And this is what I want to emphasize here. Trading successfully sometimes requires putting in more hard work and effort than the rest. I will never stop putting in my all. I happily dedicate my life to trading and chart champions. And this isn't just words, right? You can see it in front of your eyes every day. <laughs> you know, look back over the years, years, years on years. Every single day, I'm turning up. You don't see me missing a day of trading. Even when I'm ill, even if I'm away on holiday, I turn up every day and I trade, okay? Now we're going full, full focus on the platform and the service that we have of Chart Champions, right? This is my baby. This for me is the legacy. This is what I really want to see succeed, grow, and change people's lives. That for me is powerful, okay? And with that said, if you do want to get the new templates that we got here, which yes, this is the template that gave that exact dollar high. So if you want the brand new templates, if you want the brand new Elliott Wave series, well, then you can get that over on the website now. Daily live stream updates from some of the best coaches in the world. You, on top of the daily live stream updates, you've of course got the updates inside of the group where we give our levels, where we give the reactions live in the time, right? On top of that, you obviously, of course, have the inbuilt trading journal on the platform. You have the speed run, you have the main courses itself, with now, yes, the Elliott Wave series beginning. So I know a lot of people were looking forward to that, so I just want to make sure you're aware of that as we start to, you know, yeah, just <laughs> talk about Elliott Waves more, I suppose, even on these public videos once you've got the knowledge there. So yeah, it's an exciting time, but as always, for me, it's just important, you know, you're never going to see us stagnate, right? You're never going to see us, you know, become complacent. That has happened in the past, I will admit. And with that said, you know, we've had a lot of comments from people that were members went away because of the lack of or complacency. You could speak. There was a lot of things we needed to change. You know, we really saw that, acknowledged the complaints, acknowledged the feedback and implemented every single change that needed to be done. Everything that you wanted to see has been done. We've listened to every single bit of feedback. And that is why, you know, that's why we're at the level we're at today. We've not become complacent. The competition, if anything, has even pushed us forwards and made us work even harder. And so, yeah, you know, it's, it's great to see the people that have left when we were at our lows, you know, coming back now and, and, you know, the comments of, wow, yeah, now you seriously are <laughs> at the top of your game right now. And, you know, that for me is very happy and, you know, it's a good feeling, right? So I will just say that as we're going to now move on to what's happening next and what I'm more personally looking towards in, in terms of the charts and the targets. So just a final reminder, if you want to get involved on the new Elliott Waves, if you want to get involved on the whole new templates, journal, 
all of the features that we've added recently, well, then you can obviously get that over at chartchampions.com. Also, we now have the Rivalry AMA trading sessions every week. So Rivalry also now has started his uh, live um, streams as well. So that's of interest. <laughs> Another coach added to the roster doing the live streams on a weekly basis. That's for the contenders and the champions. Um, so yeah, with that said, that's enough talking about that. Um, back to the charts. So like I've mentioned, the way I trade is a level to level game. Of course, I've kind of showed you a, a level that we are at at the moment, which is off of the trend line. This is the third touch of the trend line. This is a valid trend line. Okay, so some things that I'll be looking at are, for example, the ES and the DXY as the correlated markets. Okay, this correlation obviously comes and goes. It's not a 100% correlation. Okay, there's sometimes where it's very strong, there's sometimes where it's weak, and, and you know, that correlated market almost becomes inversely correlated. That's the beauty of trading. It's never 100%. If it was 100%, it would be easy. Everybody can do it. Trading is not easy. Trading is actually hard. And it's like I say, only the people that actually put in the effort will be successful. I, I really believe that, that, um, you know, hard work, essentially can outbeat natural talent. You know, the, the person that's really, really working hard and putting in their all, I do think can out can outtrade the, the naturally talented in this. So yeah, it's all about that hard work, determination. It's all well and good being motivated, but if you don't have the terminate determination and the grit to actually put in that hard work, well, you know, motivation then at the end of the day is any relevant, right? So yeah, for me to you know, we've obviously rejected from that trend line. So for me, that is a technical level. Okay, we can also see, you know, we are talking about confluence around here, the CC on the trend line, right? So this is a technical level. But for me, I'm not trading that. So I haven't understand in trading, there's levels, but there's levels where I will trade and levels where I won't. So I understand, for example, if we pull back from here, if we do so be it, but my bigger level would still be around, well, really still the middle of the channel, right? So the middle of the channel there is 22 250, 22,250, to the bigger target up there of around 22,350. So you have that about $100 zone around the NPOC here, which gives us our next zone to the upside, right? That would be our key level of resistance, in my opinion. And then what well, below us is fairly simple still, right? We still have this weekly and NPOC. And as always, the way that I trade is based off the reaction. Set the alert, trade the reaction. For example, an alert at the range low. Swing failure pattern? Well, take the trade. Okay? We come up to the NPOC or down to the weekly. Do we get a reaction? If we get a reaction, take the trade. Alternatively, what can we get? Well, we can simply just blast straight through the level. So if you have the alert set and you come and we're through the level, there is no reaction, then you can still look up for your next levels to the upside, right? Just the same, opposite down here. We can have a weekly alert. If we don't get a reaction at the weekly, we'll look to the next level to the downside. That's the way that I trade. That's the way that I teach. And truly, I believe this is the way if you want to be successful, you know, I said it before, I'll say it again. Chart Champions really made and popularized this level to level trading. And now it, there's a reason why it has become so popular, because it is the best way to trade, um, you know. <laughs> It's the way I've been doing it, and it's, it's the way that I've made from this market multi-million dollars, right? A lot of money from this market I've made, and that's my style of trading, and that's the way that I'm here to teach you. Um, so yeah, for me, it's then now a case for now a case, for example, of remaining patient. Why? Because I understand the level where we're at, but for me, this doesn't interest me in a in, in a trade here. So I'd either wait for a rejection here and get lower prices, or go through and wait for higher prices. Well, then I'm more interested because they're at bigger levels in my opinion. Okay, so that's the style of my trading. That's my analysis. And that's how I'm approaching this market. As you can see, I'm more than happy to short this market when we hit resistance. And I'm more than happy to long this market when we hit support. So I have no, you know, perma bull, perma bear. No, all I want to do is take the best trades and win trades. And as a result, of course, make profits. But my whole game and plan is just focused on the charts, focused on what I love, focused on the passion of trading. That's what I do. That's what I love. That's why I'm here turning up every single day. Okay. I truly love what I do. And I hope I can pass on that passion, that love, show you the results, show you what's possible, and then hopefully motivate you and act as that, you know, inspiration, I suppose, if anything, of pushing you forwards and pushing you on to the next level. So 
Yeah, of course, this is just the free public YouTube updates. If you want videos like this, but in much more depth, much more, we could say precise as well, with giving you much more clear biases, this is what you get within Chart Champions on the website, right? Uh, especially with the daily live stream updates that we've got every day. Uh, these have been greatly improved as well. Of course, we've got in new coaches and, well, myself and Igor doing the daily live stream updates. <laughs> uh, that's gone down a tree. We can see ourselves for the numbers and the statistics. People are really, truly now tuning in and watching it. So um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you have, you know, started that inspiration. And if you want to see more from myself and the rest of the team, you can get that on the platform chartchampions.com. Want to wrap it up? I just want to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and I will catch you, well, either in the Discord or when I decide to make the next YouTube video. Uh, so yeah, cheers everybody. Thank you and CC Paul, I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>